Hi guys, welcome, welcome back to another episode here at Bougie Glam Beauty. First and foremost, thanks for all my new subscribers and to all my new followers on Instagram and to all my new customers. Thank you so much guys for the support guys I really really feel the love thank you thank you once again uh, for all of those of you that expressed concern that my background changed in the last video I was actually off-site um, at a photo shoot hence the reason why I didn't shoot in this particular space but don't you worry guys I am now back and in today's episode I am actually going to be sharing with you the doll eye all right so stay tuned guys as we jump into the fourth eyelash look so guys before we jump into today's video don't forget to subscribe by hitting the button below give this video a thumbs up comment below and share this video with your friends and family letting them know that bougie glam beauty is here to help them with all their eyelash needs yeah so for those of you that have to play catch up i'm actually going to be linking somewhere on top here the past videos and in those videos i would have already covered the other lash looks all right so the other lash looks would have been the natural eye the open eye the cat eye and now in today's video we are going to be talking about the doll eyelash look so guys as i mentioned to you these things are foolproof but you're probably wondering doll eye why the name the lash that name why that name you ever look at a barbie doll or even like an american girl doll hey not no chucky doll huh? we're talking about those pretty dolls when you look at their eye eyelashes that they apply on those dolls it's usually even throughout it's usually very open and creates a sort of their eyes are usually bright and it's super glam and so that is what this eyelash mimics this lash is usually very dense it is also um, from outer corner to inner corner it's usually the same length throughout and I'm going to be showing you um, the style in our collection that actually has this doll effect um and the this lash it also pairs really well with certain types of eyes such as the almond shape eye and the deep set eye um now before i jump in further just to answer some of you some of your questions um it doesn't matter um, if it is you want to try another eyelash that we have advised you not to try uh, what I mean by that is many persons have been saying, but Carice, I have hooded eyes. So what does that mean? I cannot purchase a doll eyelash. No, it doesn't mean that. The only thing that I can advise you is that these things are just guides. And with eyelashes and makeup on the whole, it should not alter your look. It should only enhance your natural features and basically complement you in every way. So when we say hooded eyes, we prefer not to suggest a super dramatic lash because it will make your eyes droop or very sa um, sagging. Um, this is why we recommend um, certain eyelash styles for certain eye shapes. But it does not mean that you cannot purchase um, another lash style that we may not recommend or we do not see that would be suited for your eye shape. Um, but these are just guides, all right? So with the doll eyelash, as I mentioned, it works really well for persons with almond shape eyes like myself. And almond shape eyes are persons where part of the iris is hidden by the curve of their own eye. All right. And with the almond shape eye, if you look at it, it's usually even throughout. From inner corner to outer corner, the eye shape is even um, throughout and so with the this last style it is also even throughout so let me just grab the first last style in the collection to show you and I'm going to be grabbing the one that I have on right now in this video um, this is the B fashionable lash and I'm bringing it closer for you here so with the B fashionable lash it is actually the same length throughout and you can see it right so from the outer corner to the inner corner 
it is the same length throughout and you can actually see that the lash hairs are very dense all right it's full this lash style is usually a full lash style all right and and this is why it will give you that super glam effect all right the other eye shape that this lash style pairs really well is with persons with deep set eyes right deep set eyes are persons where their eyes are deep within their socket and so their eyes are already very sultry because it's almost as if their eyes are receding and so you need a lash that comes out all right out and not and, and a little way up not too up right because remember you know their eyes are already deep in their socket so you really want a lash that comes out and a little way up and this lash style the doll eyelash actually gives you that effect it comes out and then it, it it opens up right so it really pairs well with persons with deep set eyes right so the other lash in our collection and i'm just grabbing it here is our be adventurous lash all right now this lash is also even throughout as you can see from the outer corner straight to the inner corner it is even throughout now this lash style is very dramatic very dramatic right but this is what we call the doll lash style now with this particular lash i would pair it with sort of like a natural eye makeup um, because you don't want your lash competing with you know colorful eyeshadows because more than likely the colorful eyeshadows will get hidden by this super dramatic lash right so I have a couple customers who would usually wear this lash style with something similar to what I'm wearing maybe not um, with this shimmer that I have on my eye but a super matte um, natural eye makeup look and they would then pair it with this um, lash style because then you would actually see the lashes all right this lash style I don't recommend it recommend it for the faint of heart because really and truly when you put that lash on all you're seeing is lashes right but it's really a beautiful lash um, as I said it's it will give you that dull eye effect because it's even throughout but it's super super right? dramatic so as I like to do in all of my videos I like to show you guys the differences with the lashes because I would have showed you guys two of our lash styles that would give you that dull eye effect but between the be, Ad be adventurous lash and the be fashionable lash there are some key differences that you should note so I'm going to show you now so this is our be fashionable lash as I showed you and with the be fashionable lash you would notice that it's not as wispy on the edges of the lash all right as compared to the be adventurous lash which is definitely wispier on the edges of the lash now right you seen it here okay now the wispier a lash is on the edge of the lash that actually helps to open the eye even more and it actually helps to create an even romantic look because you know the lashes will be super light on the end so it really helps to give the eye a super light look as compared to the be fashionable lash where the lash hairs would look almost super blunt on the edges all right so it opens the eye but it's just that it opens the eye it's not giving you any sort of effect or, or wispy effect on the edges of the eye eyelash the other main difference with the lash is that you will notice the hairs on the B adventurous lash they crisscross to the base of the lash band as compared to the lashes here the lash hairs at the base of the be fashionable lash they don't crisscross like the be adventurous lash and so when lashes crisscross at the base of the lash it actually makes the lash more fuller and more denser um, than the other lash styles so again if you're looking for super glam the be adventurous lash will definitely give you that but as compared to the be fashionable lash it will give you a glam effect 
it, it is dense but it's not going to be as dramatic as the b adventurous lash okay so guys thank you so much for joining me for this episode at bougie glam beauty and if you haven't already as i always like to say tell a friend tell a girlfriend tell someone you love about bougie glam beauty thanks guys <laughs>